Okay, good afternoon and welcome back to Gears Tactics, uh, where I'm carrying on with my playthrough in Iron Man mode. Uh, streaming this a little bit earlier than I was expecting to. I uh, unexpectedly got some uh, free time this afternoon. Uh, so, let's make the most of that. Uh, without further ado, crack on. Okay, so we had reached uh, Act 1, Chapter 5. I think we have to play a side mission first, though, before we do the main story mission for Act 1, Chapter 5. Um, I wasn't, yeah, I didn't really understand how the side missions worked until last night uh, when I got my first one. Um, so obviously, these are gonna, if there's a a number of these I have to play through before the main story missions and that's going to make the campaign even longer than the 22 odd um, chapters that are in it anyway. Uh, which just makes me even more nervous about uh, playing in Iron Man mode because there's even more to go back through uh, if any of my heroes dies. So yeah, just a reminder if any of these three people here die then uh, that is it. I cannot go any further through the campaign and the game will delete my save file. So high risk. Um, but we are going to take this one for now and we are going to remove all of our heroes because I want to minimize uh, the chances of us coming to an untimely end uh, thanks to one of them dying. Uh, last time we also renamed our squad members uh, after some people I know. Uh, so if you are one of the people who sees your name there, uh, congratulations, I guess. Um, so who else are we going to put in our squad? We've got two more spots. Uh, so Aniva, I think I'm going to put uh, him in, uh, named after my. Uh, my most enthusiastic uh, viewer who's always dropping in to say hello on my Twitch stream. So, uh, named that guy after him. Uh, so, and he is a, um, what was it, Vanguard class, uh, which is similar to Sid. So, that's probably a useful person to have, even though he's only level 2. Uh, and my other unit, uh, I can either take a sniper or a heavy. I already have a heavy, uh, so I'm going to take a sniper, uh, named after my son Aiden. So, let's see. How we do with these guys? I have to hold two control zones for two or more consecutive turns. Now, I think anybody who dies in this mission, although it wouldn't end my run through the campaign, those uh, characters would be gone forever. Uh, so I really want to avoid casualties. I think. I, I assume that the side missions work in the same way as the, the main story missions in that respect. Let's try this. Uh, actually, before we do, let me just check grenades. What grenades does everybody have? Frag, 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 frag. Everybody has frag grenades. I think that's okay. I think I prefer the frag grenades to the, the healing grenades. I haven't used a healing grenade at all in the campaign yet. So, yeah, let's go. Oh, some of my units have unequipped armor. Select edit to equip armor before deploying on the mission. Okay. That seems like a good idea then. Who has unequipped armor? Oh, interesting. Okay. Him. Okay, well that makes sense. I thought I'd equipped everybody with everything that I could. I mean, I 
could swap in some armor from heroes who are, I'm not currently playing with, but. Okay, we've got another uh, one over here. Maybe it needs some armor. But none available unless I pull some from somebody else. Do we want to do that? I don't think so. I think we're just going to go with what we've got. Okay, so, uh, let's try this. If we want our convoy ready to fight, we need fresh supplies. Dig in near the crates and load up the cargo we need. Okay. Control of the supplies and keep the grubs out. Got it? Okay. Hold Time both points go. for two consecutive turns. Do I have to hold them simultaneously? I don't know. Uh, so I want my sniper up here for sure. So, uh, he can hit both sides, so, uh, Aiden. That's uh, you selected. It's a long way to run. At what point do the enemies spawn? I can actually run you up to there. Do I want to do that? It's such a long way. God. Okay. Hayden, I hope I am not heroically sacrificing Understood. you. Standing by. Do I get, am I gonna get time to put everybody in position? So who do we have? So we have Eddie, our heavy. Okay. An Eva, our vanguard. Uh, Awaiting orders. And Nat, who is really support. Chew. Hold both points. I don't know if I have to hold them simultaneously or I can do them one by one. That would be quite a difference in terms of how I would play this. I have to hold them simultaneously. That makes life really tricky. But I don't feel like I can just have one person down, even if they've got cover from the sniper. Let me uh, quickly 
quickly have a look at an online guy, if I can just get a hint on this. I'm not averse to... Okay, control side missions involve holding two supply points marked with a circle until you reach ten points. Your units must be within the circle, but if an enemy steps into the circle, no one will gain any points. If none of your units are within a circle, but there's an enemy in it, the enemies will gain one point and they win when they reach five. Okay. Heavy, sniper, support and scout. Best mix. Okay, well I've got three out of the four. Supports with the group therapy will be useful because of how many enemies will spawn. Don't like the sounds of that. Sometimes using a single unit to redirect attention can be a good strategy. Okay. Until I reach 10 points. It almost sounds like I've, I've got to do this uh, simultaneously. Well, I guess if there's one who is probably better right. able to survive on it's his own, it's my heavy. So I'm going to send him uh, this way. On the move. I'm listening. And I'm going to send uh, an Eva. How far can I get here? And yeah. that the other way. Her abilities are not limited, there's no range. I don't think. Is there? there? Doesn't seem to be any range restriction on her heal ability, so Ah, uh, okay, yeah, look, this is the the indicator at the top of the screen. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This actually is an optional objective, isn't it? Hold both points for two more consecutive turns. Uh, we're just going to have to. I'm just gonna have to go for it and see what uh see what Time happens. Okay, here we come. I'm going that way. Are there more enemies ah. hidden that I can't see. Heavy reporting in. Yikes. Okay, well, some of them definitely went this way. So, we can get him... We can get him all the way, but is that absolutely insane thing to do? You can actually move your troops further by moving them in multiple steps rather than all in one go because of the fact they will slide into cover. So um, it actually the sliding into cover thing gives you a bit of extra range. So I'm going to start by no moving problem. him here. Actually, don't see anybody there. Standing by. Okay, Aiden, if we can move him up as far as he can get on one movement point, which is there. <clears throat> and these two. Yep. And Eva. Gonna send you first again. Ooh. How far can I get? Could push you all the way there, but that is quite. 
quite a scary thing to do when I don't know. Can I trust that? I've got to go for it. Ready. Okay. That was fine. I think the enemies have gone this way. I'm assuming they're going to keep dropping in. So at the end of this turn there'll be more enemies dropped in. But uh, if they've initially gone that way... If they've initially gone that way actually though, I wonder if that means that I should send... Nat in. I wonder if she can hit from up here. Maybe I should have two in the middle. I guess it becomes an issue of range then. Uh, I've dropped in. I think it was ranged enemies that dropped in, so they're going to shoot at me rather than try and rush me. Keep him. Ready. Mm, I don't know. I don't like not being able to go on Overwatch, but not much I can do about that. Okay, let's put him in the zone. Moving. Area secure. Okay. So what are we going to do with that? Go ahead. And Aiden is the other question. <sighs> he is a sniper. So we can just. Oof! It's a very narrow cone. But it is still a long cone. taking two shots at that kind of distance or should I pull him up a little more I think I'm going to pull him up a bit more actually ok I don't want to take two pull him up as far as he can go on my way. Okay. And let's put some overwatch across there. On it. Uh-huh. Okay. Nat, what do we do with you? Do we try to <sighs> current expectation is there's gonna be more enemies on this side. But we've currently got two people covering that side. So, oh, the thing is, once I run you down here, it's a long way back over here if he gets in trouble. Well, do I keep her held back a little bit? Even running it to here is three action points, actually, so that doesn't help much. So, okay, let's put her here. Moving. Enemy movement. Sound required. Locked. Gained a supply. I did not gain a supply. Okay, so we Make are one of ten. Ooh, there is actually a guy who stayed there. Well, that's fine by me. You just. You just stay there, dude. Um, the other guy's still running in there. That seems surprising. Okay, well. Vanguard here. I can run him up behind there. 
for one. Affirmative. So we now have that control point. It's a rare crate over here, which I should try and get if I can. Uh, I'm tempted just to leave him there and not care about him. He wouldn't even stop me getting that crate. The other question is where are the other waves of enemies going to drop? Are they always going to drop over here? Or are some going to drop in behind me as well? Because uh, if some are going to come in behind me then I kind of want to keep aiding closer to this end. But if they're all going to drop over there then pushing him up a bit would not be a bad idea. I think yeah. we're okay at the moment though. I'm inclined just to keep him where he is. The only worry, I guess, is if the enemies that are coming down here try to come this way and flank him. Or even come down over here if there's more enemies dropped over here. This is a suspiciously large area with nothing in it. All I've got to do is get to 10. I do, I do not have to kill everybody. I've just got to hold these points. So maybe I should push Aiden up so he can cover the whole of this rather than just... The only danger is then I get shot at by him. I can get there in one. Actually, that gives me the option of shooting him as well. So I'm going to do that. Still don't see anybody down here, which is deeply disturbing. There's a guy. There's another guy still here. Have they even moved at all? Have they even moved at all? Uh -huh. I don't know. Okay, well he's just going on Overwatch. Um, we'll cover anybody who comes this way. Oh, he can cover that direction actually. direction do I want to cover with the overwatch? Are they going to try and rush me down the middle? Surely they wouldn't do that. Sniper, I, stand by. I do have the ability to, to just cover down here just in case. I mean he could shoot me I suppose, which might be bad. What's my chance of hitting him? Mm, not bad. Seems to be nobody this way, which is good. Yeah, hard to tell what the best thing to do is. He can he can only cover one of these steps though. And this is what I need to hold. Is it likely these guys are going to run up and try and get closer to me? I don't think so. Why would they do that? They should be trying to take the control points. But this is also the shortest path if they do come here. Alright, I'm going to do... Uh, I'm going to get him on Overwatch cover in this direction. Okay. And I'm going to have Aiden here. covering this direction on overwatch so if either of these guys do anything we will have a shot at them is he actually in the area he is let's do Eyes that peeled. Uh, and then he can just go on overwatch uh, over here go ahead and that because I don't really know which direction all the enemies are going to come from. I'm just going to keep her uh, right there. Um, we'll just overwatch to cover him. They won't get past me. Ready for okay, let's see how we go. Surprise! Oh, Almost nice. Out. Okay. Those guys didn't move. They just dropped at the end and stood still. That's weird. Okay. Here's the first problem. What are those guys? 
Oh, those are the... Really? Okay, now things are kicking off. And we've got a Grenadier. Who is the enemy that nearly killed me last time? Time to go! Alright. Things are definitely getting more tricky now. Uh, no, I wish I'd taken the skill that gave me a chance of auto reloading. Only three shots with his rifle. I can't see anybody over here to hit. There's basically nobody coming this way, is there? All these guys are going to come from the back. Are they just going to jump down here? He's in good cover there. I'm inclined to keep him there and just ignore these guys at the end. Because if they're focusing on me, they're not putting the control points under pressure. And let's just try and help out, uh, help out him. I think that makes the most sense. Forty percent hit chance. It's not great. I could use precision shot. It's a slight waste. Let's just try that. Good Miss. Okay, he has to reload. Time to reload. Uh, I got one more action point. Kind of feel like I want to try to take him out. Yes. Okay. Hostile down. Okay, so he only has to deal with four guys rushing him. Now the question is, can they use ladders? They are all melee though, which means... Which means I could just overwatch... Ooh, I can't quite cover it all. They could sneak through there. Move him to the other side of that. Move him. Where could I move him? Can they even? They might even be able to jump down there. I'm not sure. Um, I don't have a good feeling for how these guys move. Now I'm going to bank on them coming down the steps. So, is it worth moving? It's not worth moving to give him cover, I don't think, but it might be worth moving to just allow his overwatch to cover the whole of that thing. So let's do that. Let's just hop over here. And then overwatch. There. Scanning now. Orders? Now. This is a bit more worrying because we have guys here and we have a grenadier coming in from over here. And grenadiers are horrible. They have a thousand hit points so they're super hard to kill. And they can do about 500 damage with one shot if they get a crit. Which is almost enough to kill me in one go. Q. 
given that, given there are only, oh there are actually only three of these guys, I thought there was one more, other than the one I killed. Okay, given there's only three of those guys there, I think he can handle them by himself. So I'm going to keep Nat where she is, uh, but I, she's going to be quite a long way away. Yep. So I feel like I want to, can she get there in one? She can get there in one. Okay, let's bring her up. She can cover there. Vanguard reporting in. He can cover there. Should he cover? I don't know. Is that guy gonna try and run down, or is he just gonna stay where he is? Hang on. Should I just try and shoot him? Maybe. Oh, I can't see him. Well, if I can't see him, at least that means he can't see me. So, um, let's do that. Scanning now. Enemy movement. Moving. Hostile sighted. Target is dead. Okay. Well, I got one. Oh, there is another one. Ooh, he's going over there. Oh, he's going after my sniper. Okay, got one. Halfway there. Way there. Okay. Oh, Aiden is right next to this crate. And I almost feel like I can't afford to. have him pick it up. Okay, well, it's straightforward what he needs to do. Needs to shoot him. Absolutely fine. Now, sniper reporting in. Can Aiden cannot hit this guy, but he's still a long way away, actually. So I can, I think, just not worry about him. Um. side. He's gone berserk and I don't quite know what that means. Although it doesn't sound like a good thing. Yep. So uh, he should he should try and finish off that grenadier. That's pretty decent chance. Crit. Oh he's down to one hit point. You have to be kidding me. Ah, uh, okay. Well, he can go for increased hit chance and low damage, actually. I wonder if Nat can do that instead. You. 66% chance. It will 
free him up to shoot at some other guys. Who else can she hit? 19, 10. 10, 10. Yeah, everything else is pretty terrible, so. Great. Okay, so Aiden uh -huh. needs to take out these two. than I thought. 29% obstructions. <sighs> well, he can run closer and use a frag grenade. I think he could... He'll, I think he'll get it. Affirmative! has one action point left, which means 94% chance. Do we want to use his ability yet? Probably not. Let's just do that. Probably just wants to go uh, into Overwatch. In case that other guy comes back. On Overwatch. And he he could run in and execute him, although that's. Ah, uh, that's not good actually, because then he leaves the zone that we're trying to defend. So... 61% hit chance. I'll take that with my pistol. Maybe once more. Okay, he's down. There for one. Understood. Oops. Uh, and then. Yeah, eighteen percent chance. I'm guessing the cover, range, obstructions, modifiers, half cover, evasion. So I'm guessing her pistol is not going to be much better. No. Okay, so we're just going to put Overwatch on him. Try and stop him doing anything. On it. Great for attack. Last round. But it's that red flashy zone. We're winning. Keep it up. Let's get this done. Three more supply points to win. Which is two more turns. Okay, Aiden, you need to get that. Got it. Uh, and then, if you were to run in here, hmm. don't want to get too close to that crap in case he decides to go for me. But here would be. See 
whether we can finish off that one guy there. Yep. Everything still seems good down here, so let's just uh Actually you know what, let's take the chance to reload. Alright, reload it. And then put Overwatch up. I read you. Okay. So all three of them are downed. But I don't wanna move out of cover. Support on standby. Could swap positions. He could go and execute that one. And then run and get the case. Affirmative. No prison. So those are downed, so we're fine. Yep. Uh, but Sheena needs to run to here. Affirmative. So that she is in the zone. And then just to be safe, we will shoot him, should we? Missed. Two action points left. Okay, let's try again. Who's next? And then let's reload while we can. Reloading! Cover me! Hey. I wonder if he should actually leave him down. I think so. Uh, he needs to reload. Time to reload. Heads up! Okay. Lock activity! Alright. That's fine. He's on his own. Another dropship coming here. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, with the grenadier and two ranged guys. have to do is survive this turn. About damn time. And he okay. can actually go and execute him, which will give everybody else an extra action, which is probably super useful. You got it. so he may as well take out that guy. 99% hit chance. I like those odds. Took you out. Uh, any more cases that we have not yet got? I don't think so, actually. Okay, so that's good. So we just have to defend against the guys coming in over here. Heavy here. Kills on a step. Two people in, do we get two points? I don't know, but let's sleep in and cover that. Support here. Okay, we can 
move you back a little. And in the unlikely event anybody comes this way. Bring it on. I'm ready. Uh, okay, let's get in across here. Let's get him over watching. Across here. Kill zone established. Complete. Excellent. They didn't need a chance to act. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Did that fairly comfortably. Two rare cases that we picked up on the battlefield. One common case for the optional objective. And for completing the mission. Some armor with a passive skill of some kind on it. And that will level up my regular guys, which is going to be handy. Ah, none of them gained a level, that's a shame. Still, every little helps. Okay, and we have. Uh, okay, let's claim our rewards. Disrupt shots from this unit will knock back the target. Okay. Okay. This one. This unit gives, gains plus 25% crit chance. This effect ends the first time it gets a crit. Okay. And damage plus 30. Okay. More troops available to recruit. Uh, but I don't see any reason to take those over anybody that we've got. So stick with stick with who we have so it's just a case of um, adding the equipment that we've picked up so um, I think all of the main guys are f fully equipped on their weapons the champion. When this unit executes an enemy, each ally is healed for 5% maximum health. Okay. But well, his plus 10% evasion, I think, is better. damage. Uh, yep. Gonna carry on giving the best upgrades to my heroes so they have the best chance of staying alive. That means we have that power barrel available. So we could put that on Gabe. Oh. No, Nat has it. Yeah, I think Gabe should have it again. Make sure our heroes have the best stuff. Uh, there are no red triangles. So one of the things I feel like I could be improved by this about this game is the assigning of equipment, because it's super hard to get your head around who has what equipment without going in one by one to each of the modifications one by one and looking at what they've got. Um, yeah, if there was a way to see that, um, or 
easily, that would be helpful. So I think I'm going to just leave those as they are. That looks okay for now. So if we go to missions now, we did the main mission, so now we get to do the story mission. So we need Gabe and Michaela. Optional objective complete in 15 turns or less. Okay, well we're not going to push to do that if it means taking more risks. Okay, well let's uh, let's crack straight on with this uh, with this story mission then. So we have to take Gabe and Michaela. So he is support, she is sniper, which means we don't want a second support. Uh, having an Eva as a vanguard is probably good instead of Sid. And uh, that just means we want a heavy. So, do we try to level up Tart, or do we keep pushing with our most experienced unit? I feel like for a story mission where there are hero characters at risk, we have to use our best. So I'm going to take Eddie. Kayla is only level 2, but I have no choice but to take her. Oh, and Aniva is only level 2, actually. But he's a vanguard, and I don't want to risk. Okay, Gay, I'm just I'm giving everybody frag grenades. I don't... I don't know, maybe stim grenades are good? I've got lots of healing abilities on characters and having the ability to close emergence holes and deal with groups of enemies just feels more useful. So let's do that. So now everybody should have frag grenades, which they do. Okay. Uh, We're good. Let's go. Every mission could be my last. Ah. Why did I play an Iron Man? Okay. Mammoth's fit, so deal's a deal. Let's take a little trip to the packing district. Place is always swarmed with Ukon's goons. You want to see what he's up to? <laughs> That's the first place to look. All right. The warehouse up ahead. I saw Ukon lurking there about a week ago. Up to some kind of bullshit. Let's knock on his door then. Gabe and Michaela must survive. Well, of course they must survive. Buildings. Buildings can hide monsters. It's actually not far. Um, okay. Orders. Eddie. Let's do it. Awaiting orders. Aniva. Can you get there with two movement? 
You can. That would be much better. Acknowledge. Give me some visibility in what's up ahead. I feel like I'm gonna... Where's the edge of the map here? So we're probably fine here. I do feel like we're gonna have to deal with enemies coming through... Possibly through that alleyway there, and certainly through this building here. So, let's send... Uh, Standing by. Let's send Eddie. Is it worth putting on Overwatch just yet, though? I'm not sure about that. Affirmative. <laughs> Probably landed by dropship, which means they're probably going to land over here and they might come in here. But I wouldn't have thought that they would get that far. Let's go. Okay, Michaela is a sniper, so she needs to keep her distance. If there's anywhere high that we could get her, that would be good. Ah, uh, but I don't see that there is. Uh, we push an Eva up a little further. Oh, we can't get him there. Hmm. Go ahead. Uh, can we get Eddie up there? Nope. Uh, this we can get him is there. Okay, let's Over push down. him. What's next? Gabe can always... He can run further. What are the odds of enemies coming in over here? I don't know, but let's... I don't want to push him any further, so... Uh, I'm going to put him on a watch down there. Right. Let's give the enemies time to drop. I don't know, I feel like I could push a little further. I don't want them to get too strung out, I guess. How far up can she get? She can get... She could get there with two... Yeah, some... Mm, I can't get him into any more cover other than there. Well, maybe that's where I'm going. Yeah. And then Michaela can go there. And we'll put her on overwatch uh, through here. Got it covered. Incoming. Spotted. Weapons free. Did she miss? She missed. Ah, oh, it's not a good start, Michaela. So you've seen Ukon. You ever gotten close to him? If I had, he'd be missing his head right now. I promise you that. Okay. Well, while these guys are all bunched up, that is a great time for a grenade. Awaiting orders. Well, it's also a good time for an explosive grenade. Why have I got such a terrible hit chance, though? Because of all the cover that's in the way. Vanguard on standby. Let's just make sure. Yep. Um, 
let's just make sure that a grenade can kill all four, which it can. So Gabe can move up to there and we can use one of Gabe's grenades because we're not going to be pushing Gabe ahead whereas we might need on Eva's grenades to close an emergence hole. Be sure this is going to work. Pretty sure we have options. Right. Okay, Gabe. We can get there in one. Can you get there in one? No, just there. Okay. And we swapped for a frag grenade, which was good. Throwing frag! Threat neutralized. Four enemies in one go. Now, we're not getting the message saying battlefield cleared, which is slightly yep. troubling. Just yet, in case lots of bad stuff comes that way. Heavy on standby. Mr. Heavy, how many will it take you to get here? Two, you can get to there for two. There for two seems the good. Move. Okay. hold off before we put a watch down. So window here, window here where we could have guys coming out of. Go ahead. And of course potentially that alley, but I don't know how how much of a risk that actually is. Move her up here for two. Here I go. And let's overwatch through here in case anything comes down those steps. I got overwatch. Okay. You can overwatch that way. Orders. And you can overwatch. Orders. 
I read you. Thirty percent hit chance. Ugh. from that direction. Okay. I should have been a bit more hesitant before doing that. Okay, 64% chance. Don't Missed! So we're going to go to Overwatch instead. They'll be coming towards me, so let's pull it in a little. And likewise, Overwatch here. Here. He could get that for two and then come back into cover. be useful. Probably should have had his overwatch zone slightly more the other way. It's okay. Talk to me. 85, 67. Where Snipey is supposed to hit things at range. Okay, there we go. Reload. Ha, I'm good. I read you. Okay, uh, let's have you finish him off. One dead grub. We're still not. Going to the battlefield cleared thing. Which makes me a little nervous. Heavy reported in. Get there in two. I worry about enemies coming in through here, I have to say. need to send someone to take a look down there. Moving out. Damn! Got a wrecked van in the way. Take out these locusts so we can move it. putting on overwatch over here. Maybe he would be better just taking this opportunity to reload. Let me come back to right. him in a minute. What am I doing with everybody yeah. else? Well, I think I think Gabe 
it's okay to move up there. Let's just put some on it. overwatch down. Just in case. Oh yeah, there is another guy way over there. I almost didn't see him. Yep, we're covered. He can, can he actually see him? He can. Ten percent hit chance. It's really not worth doing anything. Um, he might shoot at me. So maybe actually I should bring him up there. Here come the grub. Let's pour it on, evil. What I should have done was put him on this side of the bus so that he can do stuff without moving. Can his frag grenade reach? Well, he can take out two of them. I think that's worth it. Going frag. Another grub down. Orders. Now I got to be careful. This stuff may trigger as soon as I step inside this circle. And if everybody else is not ready, that might be bad. But that's a shame, because I'd like to go to there and then shoot him. Although, I'm not going to kill him, so that's kind of risky. Probably better to bring him over here. Understood. Now he's going to be too far, yeah, too far away for a, a good chance of hitting him. So let's just bring it on. I'm ready. We'll move him to there. And also put him on Overwatch. I see. Ah, uh, she can move up to there. And overwatch this way. I'll stop him. Okay now. Uh, I guess go that's why going through the building might have been good actually. Well I guess I still can. Give that van a push so we can get moving. Um, okay, let's go get that. Found some salvage. Yep. Do I want to move people up in there? Heavy here. Remove the obstruction. Which obstruction would that be? I 
this. Well, he's there. So he could push. Good thing they let the e-brake off. Come on, warehouse is just ahead. Okay, defeat the enemy guards. Whoa. And he is kind of stuck in the open. Hopefully far enough away that that's not a problem. Okay. Uh, Michaela, you can come here. A sniper. Sniper drone. Got a sniper in play. Take him out fast or he'll pin us down. Okay, which one is the sniper drone? Grenadier, Grenadier. Hammer burst, sniper. Don't imagine I can even hit him at the moment. I'm here. Does she have a line on anyone? Mm, no, there is there is a dashed line going through there, but Push him front and center. One on one end of them, and one on the other end. I feel like they are in danger. If I push a guy up to here, I feel like he's probably in danger. I read you. One there and one 
behind the other one. Understood. <sighs> Let's try it. Can't actually see anybody from there. Mm, okay. Eyes peeled. Hey. It's going to be at range. On the lookout. Right. And she can do sniper rifle overwatch. I'll stop him. Not enemy activity. the time for an explosive shot. Oh, if it kills the target, which it won't do. So maybe now is not the time for an explosive shot, actually. Still way at the back. Okay, well, I think if he moves there. Actually, we can switch to a pistol to maybe finish him off because he's pretty low on health. flashy red thing above him because he's obstructed I guess okay fine we will just put him on a watch they won't get past me um, hey okay well, let's move her up Get 
constructed actually mean? It will still let me take the shot, but I don't know... Grenadiers are downed, which is good. What's up? Who can she hit? Oh, she needs to reload first. Reloading. Target obstructed. Thirty-seven percent hit chance. in the obstruction there. Is it these downed enemies or the wall or his partial cover? Not entirely sure. Vanguard on standby. Okay, well if he goes there. Both of them. Okay. No grenade this time then. 60% hit chance. Or oh, just overwatch. two right next to each other. But I've... Yeah, I mean, they could have grenades. I don't know whether the enemies have grenades or not. But spreading them out like this feels like... Changing position. Gives me the best options. Ooh. Is he gonna shoot me? Oh 
nobody's put me on Overwatch. Oh, he's revived him. Ah, so that answers a question. They can revive each other. That's bad. That is very bad. Okay. Uh, now it's time for explosive shot. That would kill him. 41. Okay, good. That is their sniper. Oh, there's two snipers at the back. Yep. Precision shot. Cost two actions, but yeah. Eighty nine per cent chance. It's going to bounce off that post. There is fine. I'm going fresh. Okay, yep. which means he can use his pistol, hopefully. 69% chance. Take that. Here. Try and interrupt him at least. He tries to take a shot. Right in the cross. Okay. That worked. I'm listening. Okay. And uh, now if he does the execution, it's the other allies that get the boost. But still, that's good. Down 
Okay, so there is just the one enemy remaining. So that is good to know. If I put him there, Gabe could give him an action point. I'm listening. Gabe. What's next? Give an action point to. Oh no! Okay, they're good. I thought there was a range there for a minute. Time to, to him. Your game. So Una. Standing by. And Eva, you have the chance of a shot. With a good chance of a crit. I think we're clear. Nice. Fascists can fight. I'll give you that. Thanks. It's the first thing we learn in fascist school. Oh, so you think it's funny <sighs> the shit the cog does? Burning the world down. No. Just don't judge us too quickly by the uniform we wear. All right? Destroy the emulsion tanks. Okay. On the move. Not gonna like that. Come on, no point in sticking around. Let's head back. Oh god, it's still not the end of the scenario. <sighs> okay. Well, I don't really care about the optional objective. I just care that <laughs> my heroes do not die. Um, however. What's up? with my heroes being at the back now my heroes have suddenly become at the front these guys have not enough action points which is troubling what enemy types appeared there. I'm here. Okay, well she's got four actions, so she can get there for one. Which ought to let us see. Wait, is that in cover? It's not. Only there would be in cover. get there for two but then she's getting away from the action she can get there for two but that's just way too close Eesh. Um. I mean, we could run her here for one Reveal where the enemies are, take a shot and get her back in cover. Where would be a good spot? Uh -huh. Okay. Textbook work. Can she hit the other one? she can't. Okay, but she's given us an idea of what's out there. So maybe I run her back here for now. Because these guys are going to come this way, so that's Let's not a bad it. place. Uh, I can get him in there. Not 
something can sneak between that van and the wall. I don't think, although... I'm hoping it will let him shoot out around that corner. Advancing. Let's try. Can he cover that? Uh... Okay, well in that case... Oof. Oh man, I don't like that. Yuck! Okay, I'm just gonna cover that. Nothing tries to come round that way. Whoa, that is a lot of dudes. Oh my god. Holy smokes. That was pure refined emulsion. You could send a rocket into space with those tanks. Or you could power up one hell of a monster. This is fun. Oh god. I'm listening. Okay, you gotta get as far up here as you can. Understood. Okay now. You Vanguard on standby. So have to get as far as you can, which is not very far. Oh my god. There. Jeez. Now I wish I hadn't put her Ready. there. Because she needs to retreat where she can be in cover. Everybody, but are these guys just going to reach me this go? How far away can I get? Maybe I should have left that spot free for her. Well, they are all melee and not a close quarters. shoot three of them but then I need to pull them back in here there are so many she does have a frag grenade maybe she should shoot them and then any group that comes for her Switch to pistol. Yeah, 
best chance, 41%. Which wouldn't kill it anyway. So, yeah, maybe she should reload, although... Maybe she should run away as well. Hang on, what's Gabe gonna do? Affirmative. Can he hit any of them? these guys go for her, we have a serious issue. Although she can, hang on, can she run through this building? I'm listening. Oh no, she's got to go in that way. Well, oh, I think we've committed ourselves. The best we could do is run her further away. Maybe that's not a bad idea though. Position. Don't like using myself as bait. On the lookout. Bring it on, work. Hey, Nil you do. No, not so easy without without grenades. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, Gabe's grenade is on cooldown. But, they are still bunched up, and they haven't reached me, so... Oh, but his grenade's still on cooldown. Oh god, the cooldown for grenades is so long. However, his explosive shot is ready. And that... is custom made for situations like this. Although his hit chance is... like, why is his hit chance still so low? Oh, because they've got evasion. And a little bit down to the range. Do I run? Does he have a grenade as well? He does have a grenade as well. So if I run him, oh, it's going to take two action points. That's no good. Uh, is he in range for a grenade? He is. Actually, I should use the grenade first. Then, explosive shot. It's only 27% chance. Ugh. Okay, hang on, let's right. see who else has what. She has a grenade. Maybe 
maybe she should have done her grenade on the front. She cannot reach there. She can from there. It's worth running her up to grenade them, I think. Heading out. Oh, look at all those death heads. That is what we like to see. Okay, phew. Yeah, pretty much required to use grenades, I guess. Um, uh, her sniper rifle is still out of ammo. Okay, maybe it's time for her to reload that. I'm reloading. Vanguard reporting in. Yeah, how far can you get? Oh, you can get there on two. On my Great, way. okay. And then we'll do that. Kill zone established. And has okay, he got any? Yeah, he's still got three. On the lookout. Yep. And that. And we're gonna run. Are we gonna run him up? No, we're just gonna. Can you get through here? We'll do that. Surely. Yes. Get after those grubs. Okay. Wow. If I hadn't have had grenades I could have used there, that would have been terrible. Okay, now how many other enemies? Oh, well, it said battlefield cleared, so that's probably probably everyone. But I still Got don't me. want to push forward with my heroes. Standing um, by. I'm going to push forward with everybody else. Acknowledge. Target spotted. Oh shoot! Really? Oh no! Or just mission target? Okay. Just mission target, I think. Okay, he needs to move up next. Do I dare leave him in the middle of the road just to get him a bit further? I think I do. He's not one of my heroes, so worst case he Let's gets hit. It. Not the end of the world. I do want to push I don't like pushing the heroes up as much as this because I'm playing Iron Man. Uh, but if I get them all close enough, I might be able to get out next go, and that would complete the optional objective. In transit. All these. Okay, how far can you get? I don't think enemies can attack the same turn they come in. On the move. And we didn't get any more in anyway. So that is good. So i got to complete Eddie the mission here. this turn for the optional objective. It's all going to be down to whether Eddie can reach the zone or not. Ah, oh, He can't. Uh, unless Gabe can reach it. If you just went in close range, I think you'd be able to use grenade and one-shot many targets. <laughs> I guess I would actually run my guys in close range with them. Um, yeah, I guess I do. I yeah, I do play it defensively. Uh, naturally, I like to keep everybody behind cover. But you're right; there are definitely times where it probably makes sense to push a bit more but I, I just I can't do it with my heroes because this is Iron Man mode if uh, if any of my heroes die which in this game means Gabe or um, Let's go. Uh, Michaela then that's it the campaign's over and the game will delete my save file so it's like there's no do-overs and that's just the end of the whole game um, so I can't push my heroes in uh, and take risks with them 
but I could have done it with with the other two. Except the problem I had with them, obviously, was that they were still stuck behind in this building. Um, okay, well, the only way we can do it this turn is if Gabe can reach it in two. I'm ready. I don't think he can. No. Because then he could have given an action point to Eddie. I won anyway. This is true. Hopefully. Unless... Unless anybody suddenly drops in now, but I think... Yeah, I should be okay. Gee, I shouldn't have sent Gabe first. I'm listening. Probably doesn't matter at this stage, but... Uh, let's get him over there. Uh -huh. and just move Eddie up as far as he can. Oh, so close! So close to the optional objective. Ah, well. On the move. Hopefully not. They're not. This okay. Will be good. Move in. Well, we didn't find Ukon, but we did put him on notice. It must have taken weeks to stop all that emotion. Gotta admit, it felt good to mess with that asshole instead of running. Now, I got one more place where we might find him. Okay, well I got three rare cases anyway, so that's cool, and a common, oh no I didn't get the common case, well that's fine, I didn't get the common case, I got three rares, uh, and a couple of barrel attachments as well, so that's good. And hopefully some of these guys will have leveled up. Okay, Michaela and Aniva both leveled up, and Eddie. So any Gabe was just short. So Eddie is my first level four. Excellent. Convoy upgrade. Received a reset token. Okay. Uh, all right, let's claim my rewards. See what I got. 5% accuracy bonus plus 1 ammo. That might be nice on Michaela if I can add that. Because there's 3 shots and a sniper rifle feels a bit limiting. Uh, Retro Lancer mod, plus 15 damage, plus 1 ammo. Nice. Diagnosis. This unit's healing skills get plus 20%. Nice. Nice, nice, okay. So let's go and equip those things. Um, so Michaela, let's deal with the skill points first. So we were sending her in this general direction. Um, what passive skills do we have? This unit downs or kills an enemy, a random skill has its cooldown reduced by one turn. First shot with a full magazine gains a 15, plus 15% 15 damage bonus. Last shot gets a plus 25% bonus. Next time this unit hits with a shot it will be a crit. Plus 40% accuracy, plus 40 damage, so that's upgrading that be okay. I mean, I did use that this mission. The two action point cost feels tough. And it costs two actions the whole way up the tree. Uh, marksman branch. Shooting if the target's at full health, the shot gets plus 50% damage bonus. I quite like that as a way to like quickly take down new enemies. Uh, so I'm actually tempted to go hard into that. What would that unlock next go? When this unit kills an enemy with a crit, there's twenty five percent chance this unit will get two actions. Okay. Okay, my heavy. And we were focusing him on explosive damage. Uh, so we were sending him up this part of the tree. 
toy in with the idea of suppressing fire. disadvantage with this skill. Um, okay, boosting the accuracy of allies could be a good thing. Um, so should I take these two? Yeah. So let's again lean into the explosive damage. Okay, Uneva, my vanguard. Now I went this way rather than the healing stuff that I went for with Gabe. Do I want to keep going this way? Bayonet charges are not something that I've uh, I've used a lot of. I wonder if I should make more use of them. Intimidate is potentially good. Shoot with a damage bonus of your missing health. Well, ideally, you'll have no missing health, so that's a bit, a bit situational. Um, maybe I should head back in this direction. Really, he's my tank class. It's also going to make it easy to remember what skills everybody's got if I keep him similar to Sid. I'm going to go this way. I like Leech. When the enemy is damaged by a shot from this unit, this unit heals 25% of the damage it dealt. It's quite nice. Although regeneration is also quite nice. Distraction. I haven't gone for distraction. That might not be a bad one as well. I'm thinking in particular to pull away enemy attention from my hero units if I need to. So do I want to go leech or do I want to go regeneration? Extra 5%. So typically, dam what kind of damage is he dealing? 200? So 25% would be 50 health. Whereas an extra 5% of his... Yeah, this... I think leech feels better. I like... I'm going to do a leech. I suppose it does require you shooting. Having enemies to shoot, which is probably why it's better than that. And that's all of his points. Okay, so that's all the points done. Uh, equipment. Uh, okay, trying to figure out what equipment to put on who. So. Uh, okay, well let's give Gabe a plus one, plus five percent accuracy bonus in addition to the ammo. Uh, diagnosis. His healing skills get plus twenty percent. We 
have leaned him into him as the healer, so actually, yeah, I am going to give him that. Even though it's a reduction in his accuracy. Uh, okay, time to upgrade Sid's magazine, I think. The accuracy bonus is nice, but the reduction in ammo is not so much. So we'll go for that. Shots get plus fifteen percent damage. Hmm. Oh, she needs an upgrade on this. When this unit takes a shot, it gets a five percent chance to receive one action. Okay. Better than the default. Ah, so I've still got some stuff available, but I've kind of lost track of uh, of what is available. We said... Uh, okay. So I find it so hard going through this um these equipment options. I don't know whether Tot is gonna end up being played. It's tough, I mean you got the same same problem that you had in XCOM, right? That you you start to get one guy who's leveled up. And it's like, well, I could play my lower level guy, but then there's, you know, you're more at risk of losing the scenario. I guess for side missions, I should probably use side missions as a as a way to level up my troops at a lower level. Uh, I just don't think I can risk it on the main missions again because just because we're in Iron Man mode. Um, okay, so a quick look, see whether there's anything that would be better here. Trigger is quite nice, but it's a low proc chance, only 5%. Yeah, that's uh, that's fine. I'm going to leave that there for now. Okay, I think that's everybody uh, upgraded. Okay. So we are on to chapter six, and now I have to do one of the side missions. Oh man. This is interesting. This one support class is a band. Wait, one unit maximum? Get them fast and bring all the units back alive. Huh. Oh, this is where I could really use a, a scout. Maybe. Who was available to recruit? Scout is available. What level are they? Level 2. Hmm. I don't know. What do you think? Or 
try it with another class. It'd have to be anybody other than support. Scout's good because they can basically go invisible. good chance that you're going to lose the lose the character so I don't have to succeed in the mission I'm just thinking about whether I could play it with top and essentially gamble her. If I'm thinking about removing her anyway to make space for a, um, a scout, <sighs> but I'm not sure that makes sense. Maybe I should just remove her to make way for a scout. I don't like getting rid of, rid of troops when I've named them after people that I know. <laughs> Makes it more personal. Um, okay, well, I think I'm gonna take uh, a quick break here. Um, quick bathroom break, uh, walk around a bit shake my arms um, and then I'll be back in no more than five minutes uh, and we will carry on with this side mission uh, one of these side missions um, so yeah quick break uh, and then I'll be right back uh, don't go away see you soon
Okay, I am back after that little quick break uh, to refresh myself. Um, so uh, I have decided that uh, I am going to uh, get rid of Tot, I'm afraid. Um, if I can remember how to get rid of squad members. Tot, I'm very sorry. I think you only went on one mission. Um, uh, one second. Um, to I'm terribly sorry, uh, but you are the second heavy, and it's already tough to take you on missions uh, when I have a level four. So uh, you are going to have to uh, make way. Yes, um, and we are going to recruit a scout. Confirm recruitment. And we are going to rename our scout. Oh, I hope getting rid of top. We claimed all of the uh, equipment mods that she had. Um, anyway, I am yep. Uh, going to use. Uh, going to rename him uh, after one of my good friends here in Bermuda, uh, Mr. Marcus. Cooper. And his call sign. What is what is a good sign for Mr. Marcus Cooper? Uh, what do I think of? What I think of Marcus? I think of, of cats. Uh, charming. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not sure about that. Uh, chum. Uh, let's see. What have we got here? What jumps out at me? Marcus Badger Cooper, Bagpipes Cooper. He's not Scottish. Uh, what have we got? There are so many of these. Dead Eye, Deadlock, Desperado. Dice, Dice. He likes his dice. Very important choosing a good name. It's it's definitely definitely worth agonising over. Uh, Marcus, if you're watching this, what sh what should your call sign be? Pick a call sign. Glory Grandpa. <laughs> Marcus Grandpa Cooper. Yes. For all those times that you were rude to me in Fortnite. Uh, Marcus Grandpa Cooper. That's perfect. Okay. You may only live one mission anyway. So. Um, but just in case. Just in case you survive. Uh, let's see what we can equip you with. Uh, although if you die. I, I might lose these. Uh, these mods. Which would be. Which would be terrible. Um. Okay, you've got 3% accuracy bonus. Would I rather have have it where shots will knock back the target? Depends how far it knocks them back, I suppose. That's six of one, half a dozen of the other. 3% doesn't feel like much. If I knock them back, it would probably knock somebody who is in cover out of cover. We're gonna try it. This feels like a mission to uh, to experiment with. Um, wait, did that still have a? Okay, hang on. We've got lots available. Why 
say, why do we have a common stable handle with a passive skill of focus? Oh, it's probably got a better chance. Plus 25% crit chance. Plus 10% crit chance. Okay. Uh, okay, well, let's give him the best. It's, I've still got a red triangle. That's going to confuse me. 3% accuracy bonus or unit server watch shots get plus 15% damage. I've already taken a hit of... Three percent anyway. Uh, I don't know. Well, mm, he's gonna be cloaking, popping out of cloak, and taking a shot probably rather than sitting on Overwatch. So uh, okay, we'll go for the three percent. What? Why have they still got red triangles? This is confusing. I have looked through it. I have to click through all the options. Nope, I've still got red triangles. Okay, I'm confused. I don't know why. Ah, uh, wait, what was disrupt again? Shots will knock back targets. Yeah, okay, I will keep that. Uh, armor, 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 armor. Uh, hunter shell, oh, very appropriate. And champion, when this unit executes an enemy, each ally is healed for five percent maximum health. Okay, that includes him, so sure, I guess that is still useful in this mission. And lower armor, everything else is in use, but I should probably steal something from somebody else. Uh, plus one movement sounds like it will be good in this mission, so you can take that from my hero for now. And then skill tree. So, what's this? Sprint running a straight line does not break cloak. How is sprint good? Don't know, never used that skill before. Feels like it will be good. This is a mission where I've got, I think, a limited number of turns to get to an objective, and it's just me, so... Hmm. Yeah, that feels potentially good. And it's only got a cooldown of three turns. But let's see what else we've got around it. And when this unit downs or kills an enemy, he gets plus three meters of movement range. Plus 20% movement range while hidden. Frag cooldown is reduced by two turns. What's over here? Cool. No. Double shot. Shoot twice. After taking a shot, 5% accuracy, regenerative cloak, when you're hidden, heal 15% of your health. Ooh, ah, that's nice, but I've got to go this way to get it. Shoot twice. Well, I'm just going to plan on sprinting. What's the cooldown on cloak? Four turns. Cooldown on cloak is four turns. Is there anything that reduces the cooldown on cloak? look like that. No, I don't think so. Okay, I'm going to take sprint and I'm going to take plus 20% movement range while hidden. Okay, uh, so I think that's everything we need to do. For some reason the weapon stuff is still stuck, which is super annoying. So back to missions. I hope that doesn't stay stuck there. Okay, here we go. Fearsome Devil, all dare rescue. 
Clues suggest that Ukon is holding human captives in the area. Rescue them fast and bring all units back alive. Okay, that's fine. Mr. Coops. Let's do this. Looks like a couple soldiers fell into Locust hands. Free him from the torture pods and help him get a little payback on the way out. Okay. Those pods are a long way away from each other. Time to make a move. Okay. Damn. Okay, that's a long way to go. <laughs> Do I go retrieve the case? How confident am I? I would use the whole of one of my moves to get there rather than... pushing up here. It's a time-limited mission. My units get plus 20% damage. Focus at the moment, plus 25% crit chance until I deal a crit. Okay. Oh, it's tempting to get this, but I wonder if that's just a bit stupid. It only gives me 14 turns. Yeah, let's not be stupid. Do you want to hear? Two to here. Oh nope, that was two of two. Wasn't it? Grubs are on the move. Oh. Oh dear. Oh jeez. Make it count. Are you serious? Ah, oh, what a terrible way to start. Oh my god. That was a disaster. I should not have done that. <sighs> okay. Well, I guess I cloak now. Do I? Oh god, that was terrible. Do I cloak now? I was not expecting that. And I have no way to heal. Ah oh boy. Sorry Marcus. I guess the earlier I use this, the more times I'm going to be able to use it. I 
I should always move to... <sighs> if I go there, I can do two and then I can cloak. Welcome. Oh, and I made a mistake there, I think. I should have cloaked and then moved. Let's kick some ass. For some reason, I think I thought I could just sneak in. When I execute an enemy, I'm healed for five percent. Okay. God. I don't think I've done this very smart at all. Pretty much need to not get hit again. Which means keeping away from these guys. I can get to here, let's get to here. And just throw out. a grenade. Okay, great. Here, catch! Eat third and tie! Now. Oh, six turns cooldown. a bit, given the time limit, but what if I try and come round from this way, where I will hopefully have a better way, where did that other guy go? There's another guy over there, wasn't there? Do we think these guys are going to come and try and reach me? Could they reach me if I'm hidden there? I don't know. <laughs> wow. On okay. Here we go. Am I in his overwatch range? Surely not. If I go there, I can't hit him. Go there, I can't hit him. Go there, I'm going to get shot. But I could come up here. I can get there for one, but I apparently can't see... Oh yeah, I can see him. Oh my god, I can't believe I got so much damage on that first turn. Ah, oh, it's just made my life 
very difficult. I can get up there and I can shoot the guy below me. What am I carrying? Am I carrying a shotgun? I'm carrying a shotgun that performs best at close range. Oh my god. Was taking a scout on this mission a good idea? It seemed like a good idea at the time. I guess I'm fairly close range there. That's only one of three. I can see him. Right? Or is it gonna give me a hard time because I'm... That must be a good place to take a shot. I'm going. <laughs> Okay. Shoot. 95% chance. 85% crit chance. Because this is my first shot. Okay. <laughs> Your history. Yeah, that was pretty emphatic. Uh, I can't hit this guy though. Which is a bit of a pain. Where am I going to go for my last move? I can get down here. Maybe that's best. You got it. At least he's in good cover there. Watch it. Here they come. Oh, he's gone over there. Why'd you go over there? Get this done. Oh, now if I open this, I'm going to have another team member, aren't I? Oh, I really hope I get it as a healer in that pod. How many actions would it take to get there? Two. I would have one more action. And the person that I free from the pod will have one action. All units must survive. <laughs> Oh, do I push it? He will have one action, which... Where is he going to be able to get to? He could probably come behind here, but... And what about the guy that I free? I guess he has to split as well. Both just run. I don't think we're gonna get far. Uh, okay, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. Maybe I can even can I even get in a position where I could shotgun that guy? Ah, no, I've had this problem before. It will only let me go in one place. I feel like I should be able to free the guy from the back, but I guess not. Okay, fine. Let's go free him. You better be a healer, mate. Scout here. It's another scout. No. Throw a proximity mine. Yeah, but I cannot afford for anyone to die. Uh, okay, what are we doing with Marcus? Where's he going? He could run over there to safety. He could run... how far can he get? He can't get out here. He could run there, which is the direction that we want to go, because we've got to get... God, where we got to go? Somewhere way over here, I think. Where's the other pod? There. Uh, so pretty much down and ac either across here... Probably across the bridge. 
but I just feel like I'm going to get shot in the back if I go that way. So I probably don't want to go that way. But if I go this way, then it's just going to take me longer to get there. safest place. Wilkel. Yep. Now, I could throw a proximity mine. Can I throw it through that window? If I can't, then it's pointless. Okay, I can't. So that's pointless. So he just needs to run away. Oh, sprint! Marcus had sprint. I forgot about that. How far can he sprint? Oh, it's in a straight line. Pretty far is the answer. away. I, mean, I can just put him here, or I can overwatch. Can I overwatch that window? Does that even make sense? Ugh. sure that guy will be able to get me. I think I've just got to get in cover and cover. <laughs> down. Oh, five. Oh boy. Okay, they badly need a grenade dropped in their middle. chance of hitting. Whoops. Um, Marcus's grenade is still on cooldown. So that's disappointing. Okay. Could he get up there in that run in a straight line to there and then grenade them. Would he get them all though? Is five okay all right well he can get four of them yeah show him gotta watch 
check for this guy. Okay, what he's going to do next probably depends on what Mr. Standing Cooper by. can pull off. He can get to there with two. And then shoot, but he's not likely to kill him. Shotgun, it's best at close range. Can he hit him there? He can. So, here's the deal. So he could run in there and then shotgun him. But if it doesn't kill him, he's probably dead. Mm, his cloak is back. The other option is just running for it. No, I don't like leaving a guy behind us. Surely, right next to him there. Go <gasps> click. Oh, I've pressed the left mouse button down. I'm kind of committed. Am I better going out here? Or there? Or there? Hey, I'm committed. 93, 85% crit chance. Last round. Thank goodness for that. If that had not quitted, it's that dead. would have been that. Okay. Fifty-four percent hit chance. Don't like the odds there. So should I just cloak? But if I do, can this guy reach Marcus? He might be able to. damage does a proximity mine do? It'd be nice to know that. I'm relying on this killing him. Okay, it did. Nine turns remaining. through there is better because there's a case. Um, okay, so let's do the trick to try and move further. So normally one would take us here. Moving out. Another one will get in there. I'm a bit nervous about Scout here. Okay, one, grab one grab. One movement point to slide into there. Then, can slide into there. 
acknowledged. side as well. Probably. Awaiting orders. Okay, well you should probably can you run? Do we want you to run? Probably do. Wilco. Did that use two? Uh, why has he only got one action point left? Do we know? Dare I leave him exposed? I think that's okay. Here we go. Let's get this done. Okay. Yep. All right. Come in past that case. So you can do one to there. Understood. Ah, enemy. instead. If it hits, it does interrupt them. I feel. Go ahead. Here I can get shot at though. I'm on 107 health. What was my passive abilities again? I had a passive ability. Sorry, P. When I execute an enemy, everybody is healed. Okay. Do I move him? Is that a sniper? Why won't you tell me what those enemies are? He looks like a sniper drone. Ugh. Hmm. So even keeping my distance may not help. All right. Fine. Affirmative. Should I just stay on the sniper drone? Try and interrupt him. Ooh. 
feel more dangerous. Yeah, I think so. On Overwatch. Watch it, here they come. Hostile sighted. Oh, we still got a shot off. That was lucky. Guys are really designed to run in. And then shotgun. Shotgunning and then cloaking. How how are both of our cloaks actually? Miguel's cloak is available. Okay. So is Marcus's. Okay. Disabling shot. 59% hit chance. But am I better just doing a regular shot? 59% hit, 10% crit. chance of killing him. Yes. Drop terminated. The danger though, obviously, with running in, actually, is that there's more over here. Hey. That could be a problem. Look 
current odds all because of range. Now what if anyone's going to take a sniper shot? It sh should be him. But what's that going to boost the odds to? I don't know, but I think we gotta try it. 46. Tricky pitch position. We can put Overwatch on him there. Scanning now. What's it? There they come. Oh, shit. oh no. Marcus is down. Marcus is down. He can only do this once per game. Well, I guess he's got to do this. I'm not done. Oh God. Ready. Okay. You know what, dude? You just have to run in and shotgun him. to position. Actually, 96% chance to hit. 95, okay, so yeah, shotgun is better. Back in your home. Okay. He has one action. Oh, but he can't get there. So he's just going to go get that case then. Scout on standby. Well, at least Marcus has got more health now. Um, okay, where can you run to? On it. Heads up! Locus activity. Where? Are Time you sure? To make a move. Free our man. Woman. Oh no, it's not over. Oh my god. We've got five turns to get out. Faster that way or that way? Mm, probably that way. Solid copy. <gasps> Ready. Uh, okay. And Brook is a heavy by the looks of it. Passive skulls. Yeah, heavy. Ready. 
Ready. Oh god, I don't want to send him up and ahead of everybody else. Affirmative. So send him down and cloak him, but he's so far ahead of everybody else, it just feels like a really bad idea. So we will just go on overwatch here. Uh, actually we will go on shotgun overwatch. On overwatch. I'm ready for it. Grenadier. Grenadier and four regular dudes and four more regular dudes. About damn time. Jeez. Awaiting orders. This is where your run ability would be good. Feels like the problem is getting back to the extraction point in time. On my way. So I'm gonna pull him up, potentially put him in danger. Again, gotta get this one up as far as I can. That's pretty bad, but I've I'm in a tough spot. We do have a grenade at the ready. Fifty percent chance. Hundred percent chance of not killing it. <laughs> Unless it crits. Well, I can take multiple shots. Or... Wait, there is a Grenadier though. I wonder what his range is. Just go on Overwatch, actually. Scanning now. They're making a move. Engaging. Oh, one health. Almost out. Need ammo. You got him. Okay. That is good. That is a nice, tasty collection. Time to make a move. Um, yep. Okay, who can she see? Can she see him? No. Three, four, five, six dead. Three, four, five, six, seven dead. Nice. Fully Every one of them. Hold on, Marcus. Uh, okay, now we have him. Yeah. Uh, 
she throw it that far? She can. Sprint him. How many we killed? I think we got everybody. We'll go. And then shotgun. Target in sight. Ninety one per cent chance. Nice. Look dead to me. Okay. Three turns. I probably should have gone into cover. Heavy here. One of two no to problem. there. Good. Okay, so you can get in. No problem. Uh huh. And you can just get in. Oh Lord, that was close. Yep. And you can get in. Oh, that could have gone very badly. Two rare cases and an epic power barrel for plus 40 damage. Okay. And two more gears. Although, unless it's increased the size of my team, they are not that much use. Okay, Marcus, well done, you got promoted. Let's claim our rewards. Uh, another knockback, plus 10 damage. Plus 30 health, plus 15 crit resistance. That is nice on one of my heroes, for sure. So... I don't have any space. Level 3 scout and level 3 heavy. Did Marcus make it to 3 scout? Level 3 scout? He did. You have uh, you've earned the right to stay on in my squad, Mr. Cooper. Free cloak. When he uses the cloak skill, it gets one action. Okay, that's nice. Frag grenade throw and plant are reduced by two turns. Yes, please. And 
using cloak is free. Do I want a free cloak or do I want... movement range by hidden so free cloak gives me the chance to actually make more of that extra movement I'm gonna take that okay so the only level two now is Aiden Aiden you're falling behind Gabe is 530 health. Sid is 535. Michaela is 500. So she really needs... Well, we could swap with... Just straightforward 30 health. She's going to be hanging back because she's a sniper. It's Eddie that has that one there. swap plus 10% evasion what Sid got plus 20% health and okay I think 13 crit resistance is better for him which means Eddie can or health, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, that's because of potential. I'm gonna go for that one. So Michaela has that, so she's got an extra 30 health. He has the crit resistance. Gabe has just the evasion. Do better than that. Maybe not. Okay, pistol 530 health, Sid 545, Kayla 530. She has zero evasion, as does Sid and Michaela. We can give them something that gives them evasion, that might be nice. Now, damage. Who gets the barrel? Oh, actually, we're limited. That's 
to be a Lancer. What has Gabe got then? Why doesn't he have the option of equipping that? Okay, well if it's only Sid then yeah, Sid can take that. Good. Sights, that's the best I can do for you. Bolts. Magazines. And finding it hard to remember or work out who has what. It's like I should be able to do better than a 5% crit chance on stocks, but okay, sure. Yep, it's the best. That's good for his healing stuff. Barrels, yep. Let's check this, plus 10% evasion, it's probably good, lower, plus 30 health, yep, so that's fine, Sid. that but we don't have anything we can improve it with so yeah it feels like that's about uh, the best that we can do right now okay so we completed that uh oh Act 1, Chapter 6, Into the Fire. Michaela's second lead on Ukon sends the convoy to the nearby city of Claiborne, currently infested with locusts to get ready for anything. So, I happen to know, I believe, uh, that this, let me check, is the final chapter of Act 1. Uh, and at the end of it is the game's first boss battle. So... Given that three out of the four members of my squad have to be heroes, 
I would say this next mission is my first, I mean, yeah, it's, it's going to be a really dangerous one. Um, and there's a real risk of the game coming to an end here. Um, I think it's also supposed to be a long mission, and the boss fight actually comes at the end of what's otherwise quite a long mission anyway. Um, so I think because of that, uh, I'm going to take a break here, um, and I will tackle this mission probably this evening, uh, starting round about uh, 9, 9.30 p.m. Atlantic time, which is 8, 8.30 p.m. Eastern time. Um, so, if you want to tune in then and see how I do against the first boss, and see whether that is the end of my campaign, or whether by some miracle I can get myself through it, um, then tune in then. Um, but until then, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, this is BDA Limey, signing out.